How's it going? Okay, this is gonna be a juicy. So, Yasuki quit League of Legends one month ago, right? We're gonna go through his video. And I want you to kind of listen to his tone, the way he talks about... He's been doing it for 10 years. He's a challenger player, and he regrets at the end. Like, he just regrets it. He just wishes... He'd never done it, right? He, like, you'll see it in his talk when he talks about it, right? I quote in quote, he said, I do not want to associate myself with people that are promoting League of Legends, which is the streamers, the company, which is Riot, nor the community, which is toxic, which is like the addicted League of Legends uh, junkies, basically, right? People who just, they just can't quit, you know what I mean? They're just like so engraved into this, system at this stage that just cannot quit right and he just does not want to associate himself now you have to understand at some point in time you're gonna wake up and you're gonna feel like that as well now the reason why i keep telling people um you need to kind of give yourself time to just you need to step away from league for a certain amount of time like two to three days and allow your brain to detox and then you're gonna look at it from a completely different perspective right it's kind of like mudding the water you know like uh, when there's like high emotions there's dopamine you're raging um some shitter uh, destroyed your promotions because he was feeding his ass off right like step away from this and then look through the water when, once the dust once the dirt settles you will see league as completely so irrelevant, useless, and like, I, oh my god, why am I even doing this to myself? And why are people even participating in this dog shit, ridiculous environment that is the only reason why people are in it is because they are addicted. They're just like, that's, that's the only way I can describe it, right? Now, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit after the video about... He basically grew up. And I'll talk about this concept of growing up is that that's why I'm trying to pull you out of league right now because I want you to have resources, wisdom, and energy to be ready when that thing hits you. And that thing is when you're going to grow up. I'm talking about mentally. At that point, you're going to mature and you're going to... Like shit like becoming a professional famous football player driving a Ferrari, having a big house, sleeping with a lot of, like, attractive models, becomes completely, completely irrelevant. Do you understand? Like, that point in time is going to come to you, right? Like, it happens for different people at different times, but trust me when I tell you, that's what happened to him, right? And that's what I'm trying to kind of... I'm trying to pull you out of it right now because... When that moment comes and you're like over 30 years old, you know, and you're like, you're not in your 20s, you know, you're like a little bit closer to 40, let's say, you're gonna be in such regret and in such depression. That's why I'm trying to pull you out of it while you are like, hopefully in your early 20s or uh, mid 20s or er, like late 20s or something like that, or maybe early 30s, right? So... I'm telling you, that's what happened to him, and you have to understand that he is a challenger player, he spent 10 years on the game, and listen to what he has to say, right, he regrets doing it, he regrets doing it, so do not waste your time on this, right, okay, and afterwards I'm gonna talk about the concept of kind of growing up and stuff like that, okay, so let's go, I'm going to 2x the speed, well not 2x, 1.5 speed, because it's gonna be faster, right, so, okay, Look guys, Yasuke here. So, might be wondering, Trinomir has been massively buffed. He is the strongest midliner by far right now. But Yasuke is nowhere to be seen. Like, where where has Yasuke been? So, I just wanted to give a little update on where I've been, what's been going on with me, and why I've been absent in a time that just makes so much sense for why I should be just doing everything. Um, essentially, uh, giving a little bit of backstory, I've been in coastal Oregon since uh, May or so, and my internet here is not very great. Essentially, I'm here finding out what I want my life to become, and I'm taking serious steps towards uh, finding out what that is. And ultimately, I've just been having an amazing time here, just IRL maxing, and just kind of understanding more what I want out of my life. And 
the question is what um what role if any does league fit into that so uh, it's not just that i you see like he says what role if any but i mean right now he's really positive we'll, we'll get to it we'll get to it i have been uh missing because you know poor internet and then just being so busy with life i've also just been having uh, essentially the worst health issues that I could even imagine possible. Uh, in the past six weeks, I've lost over 40 pounds. Okay, his health issues are because he only eats meat diet. Um, when I first saw him and he was talking about just eating meat diet, I did research, don't do it. You can do it short term to lose weight, but long term your body is going to start having health issues, right? And that's exactly what he's having. And second thing, I think he was dying of stress because he got into a fight with, what's his name? There's a coach. Yeah, this guy here. And his whole business is built on the fact that he was like five-time challenger on every single role. And um, Yasuki, he find out the backlogs and the, the coach was never a challenger. But this guy charges 300 per coaching session. Oh my God. Anyway. And that's very stressful, kind of. I, th I think this this whole situation got to him. Do you know what I mean? A little bit. But that's my assumptions, right? So that's his health issues. We can skip that stuff, right? So he's going to talk about league in here. So let's listen. Out YouTube videos, put out any kind of content. Despite the past two years, plus, Trinomir has just been kind of whack. Like, not very uh, popular, not very good relative to his standards. He's just been a very weak champion. So, like, the timing on the fact that now all of a sudden he's the best mid laner in the game. Like this would have been uh, a perfect time for me to sort of uh, pop off in that sense. And I've only played like 10 games of League in the past month because uh, I was trying at one point to see if I would have been able to stream. But I I don't have... I'm not sure exactly what it'll be like once I become healthy again. But I am really not sure if I want to have League of Legends in my life. I... Okay, so you see what happens when you step away from league for for long enough you will come to a conclusion that you really do not want this game or community or anything to do because your logic logically it makes no sense right i try to play this game and i just have so much contempt and so much um impatience for the uh league of legends community for riot for everything it's just not respecting me or my time and uh i'm not sure if there is any place for league in my life i'm not sure if i will do any sort of final arc um earlier this year i was a couple games from challenger until i uh when i'm here i have 100 ping and um massive massive lag spikes uh they're very consistent and i was very very close to challenger but wasn't able to actually secure that uh, especially as i was getting more busy and had less time to be able to play league uh but it's quite unfortunate that i wasn't able to uh, be sort of challenger in my last, uh, my potentially last season, but I, I don't know if I have the ability to have the patience for League of Legends anymore, and I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see how it's like when I become healthy again, but I'm very leaning towards playing solo queue to never be part of my life again. I could find it so easy to just never play a single game of League of Legends again, again in my life, and ultimately... Alright, so this guy is a challenger player. No, he didn't get challenger this year, but I mean, most of the time he's like grandmaster, whatever. He's a high rank player. Right, he's definitely has a challenger MMR because I've seen him play against the challenger player. So he's, although his account is not challenger, but I mean his MMR definitely is right. And he's saying, okay, I just don't see League <laughs> being part of my life anymore. Even though his champ is Giga over buffed right now, you would think that he would jump into it, right? That's what happens to you when you take time to think about kind of what you're doing, you know. Ultimately. I haven't in really enjoyed League at all for the past couple years, past few years. I essentially play League for the purposes of streaming and making content. That is the kind of stuff that is interesting to me. Okay, I wonder why he didn't enjoy League, right? One sec. Yeah, you see, he's talking about the years when they keep tweaking the system, you see? Because they keep tweaking engagement, optimized matchmaking system, and they keep giving you less and less control over the game. So it becomes less and less of a headache and rage fest to play it right so i made a video on this you know so okay let's listen further 
and League has just been a vehicle to do that. So um, I'm not sure where I would be going with that. Um, essentially, a big thing is just riding on and <laughs> actually get better because uh, this is health wise, I've been very, very poor. Like, I am very, very decrepit. I am super. I haven't been this light since I was 15. Uh, and it's it's just it's kind of incredible to think about it that way. So, kind of just rambling, but I'm not. Um, I just wanted to give you guys sort of an update on where I'm at and where I'm thinking about with this kind of thing. And a big part of it is also that League is a sinking ship right now. Like, the, the player base is just massively down. There's so much less interest. Uh, I'm in, like, content creator uh, groups, and essentially everybody's reporting just forming tens all of the time, meaning uh, every video they're publishing is, like, their 10 out of 10 uh, least viewed video. Like, it's real. Hold on, let me, let me find some statistics for you. Yeah, so if we look at statistics, like, all other games are starting to creep in into... People are just quitting, because I think they just had enough of this... Uh engagement optimized matchmaking bullshit so they don't want to play it anymore you know what i mean so you see like league is slowly 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 it's on a decline right now right so if we look at games that like fortnite for example you see like it's slowly 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 declining so league is kind of like that right now as well and that's because i did a bit of analysis that's because you see people are just jumping into other games as time passes, I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a declining trend. I mean, some people say they have bots in the game, and I have to say I probably agree. That it's just like half of those, it's just recurring players, or it's just, it's not like... It is a dying game. Like, you have to remember that they're using, like... They, like, you have to also remember that engagement optimized matchmaking is out. Like, a lot of people know about it. Two or three years ago, that wasn't the case, but now everybody understands it, and very few people deny it. Do you know what I mean? They, they say, yeah, like, you know, you can kind of play around the system, but it's definitely there. Something is definitely screwing with your, um, kind of, your uh, engagement with the game. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not like in StarCraft, where it's very linear. Like, your skill is just very linear. Something is definitely screwing up with how you progress and how the game interacts with you. Do you know what I mean? And it feels very, very rigged. So... Right, so people are just catching on. Really, really poor in terms of um, the amount of interest and energy that's in League. Like, nobody's watching League content, nobody's playing League. I have some objective metrics that can kind of determine this kind of stuff, and... Um, it's very clear that there's just not much interest in League, so if I were to, once I was healthy, go full back into the thick of it, hire an editor, get all of this stuff to fully commit myself to League again, despite my waning um, patience for League, it's not even really worth it at this point. Like, we're in the winter of League of Legends, and I'm not sure, I don't see any future in which League has a renaissance, and I don't even think it's something that Riot is looking to try for. Like, it's... Yeah, so this thing, he is 100% correct, because Riot wants mobile gaming. You have to remember that Riot is an evil company that wants money, right? On desktop, desktop population is a lot older than mobile population, because kids love mobile phone because it's a toy, right? So they really... <sighs> I'll find it for you, one sec. No, I can't find it. I can't spend more time looking for this stuff, you know? It was basically like League of Legends, uh, Wild Rift, and uh, Mobile Legends, Bang Bang. Basically, they're slowly rising in popularity over time, right? So the future of, like, money-making businesses uh, for games are, like, in mobile games most of the time. Like, that's kind of based on projections, right? So, anyway, let's listen. It's not something that I think is worth tying my life energy towards, putting more of my life energy into League of Legends. Up until earlier this year, I averaged six games a day of League of Legends for over 10 years. And that's such a, such a crazy thing to think about, how much time I put into... 10 years, six games minimum. That's crazy, right? To this. And I'm not going to say that it was all for nothing, but... Um, I'm not gonna say it's all for nothing because I've definitely gained a lot of valuable skills, a lot of valuable connections, but big thing is it's like the 
Now listen, listen to what he's saying now, right? He says, yeah, yeah, it's not for nothing, but... Listen to his butt, right? People that would even be my peers in League of Legends are just not people that I would be wanting to associate myself with. And the more that I've been here interacting with good people uh, in good situations who are just very genuine, it's hard for me to have the patience for uh, internet culture as a whole, but especially League of Legends stuff. Like, the amount of people that I see that just just prove time and time again that they just have zero moral fiber and they're just willing to uh, kind of go against their principles and they ultimately don't have any principles, especially just content creators. There's so much of a let's just get this bag culture and there is no um, desire to be a principled human where people only care about, oh, I will only do this moral thing or not do this immoral thing if it will uh, benefit me uh, financially. Like, I'm not going to do this yeah, exactly what I said to you. See, I told you multiple, multiple times. These guys don't give an absolute shit about you. They, everything they do is designed to get viewership. Like, you have to understand that. Like, how many countries have commission-based salespeople? Almost no, every single country does not have commission-based salespeople anymore. Because commission-based selling turns people into monsters, like sociopaths, right? Content creators are commission-based salespeople. So they will, over time, become manipulative. They basically become like professional sociopaths because commission-based selling turns people into this freaking crazy, crazy guys. Do you know what I'm saying? That's why you don't see commission-based selling. It's been outruled because what it does to you psychologically. And that's what he's talking about. I mean, most of those guys, I told you, that they're completely crazy. Right, and he doesn't want to associate, and I can relate to that. Right now, I'm gonna do next video. Uh, I'll show you some statistics. You're gonna be like, "Holy moly, dude!" Like you'll be surprised how little money content makers make, uh, even the big ones. But I'll, um, I will um, do the video later. Right after this one, maybe tomorrow. Right. Anyway, let's let's continue to listen this immoral thing only because I'll get cancelled, but I'll totally uh, do this immoral thing if, you know, people don't care about it. And so it's really, I'm just thinking on every level, it just doesn't seem like something that I would have a good time uh, spending my life energy in. And so I'm not sure. There's still certain things that I feel like I can have that is of value, but biggest thing is ultimately not playing solo queue. I think there's so many other ideas that I can give to League of Legends that don't involve me ever uh, picking up uh, a sword. Uh, for Trinomir again. Uh, there is no need for a sword, because I have no enemies. No enemies on the Rift. And so, yeah, ultimately that's just what I'm thinking about. Just wanted to give you guys an update. Uh, my health has been miserable. I'm trying to get better. And I've been unable to do anything, uh, primarily because of my health, but it's also given me time to reflect and understand that um, I really just don't think League is something that is worth me putting my time into, and I don't think that League deserves, deserves me. Uh, there's so many... League of Legends is ultimately just a very immoral place filled with horrible people um, run by horrible people and the more of my okay did you hear it right everybody everybody comes to the same conclusion after a certain period of months of time right listen to it again right um i really just don't think league is something that is worth me putting my time into and i don't think that league deserves deserves me uh there's so many league of legends is ultimately just a very immoral place filled with horrible people um, run by horrible people and immoral prey place filled with horrible people and ran by horrible people right because you have to understand right it takes special type of sociopath to abuse kids with this type of shit like what they are doing borders on insanity level of like they're gonna be jailed I'm telling you, if they keep this up, they will eventually get jailed, right? So, I, I, can, I can understand where he's coming from. The more of my energy that I give to them, the more that I'm helping people who hate me and um, are not people who share any similar goals with me. So, that's kind of where I'm thinking about. I will give more updates as I am healthy and am even able to do things, uh, especially when I come back to Arizona, as I will be coming back to Arizona. Like, there's no, there's no chance that I'm going to have the patience to play League on 100 ping and a bunch of packet loss. So, uh, I'll give an update once I am back in Arizona. And I will be back in Arizona as soon as my um, health clears up enough for me to be able to make two 10-hour drives. 
um, as we be driving from there. Um, so yeah, sorry for being MIA, uh, but I wanted to give you guys this update. Uh, thank you guys for understanding where I'm at and what I'm thinking about. And yeah, I will see you guys the next time I have an update to give you and more of a confirmation about what my future is and if any of that future involves uh, not just lead content creation, but content creation in general. I think there is still a lot of value in me um, in the value of content creation in general and something that I could insert into my life, but league and just gaming in general, not really something that I am uh, looking too fondly on. So see you guys uh, next time I have an update. Thank okay. Right. Now I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to make a video tomorrow because it's very late and people are sleeping. So uh, yeah, but just there you go. Right. Challenger player regrets it. Right. League is a horrible place, right? Don't play the game. Quit it. Just it's a waste of your time. Take care.